Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. And today we're looking at Proverbs 24. And, and specifically, I want to look at two verses in this uh, chapter that when I first read these, you may think they don't apply to you. But I promise you, almost all of us struggle with this at some point in our lives. Listen to what uh, the, the writer says. Do not rejoice when your enemy falls, and let not your heart be glad when he stumbles, lest the Lord see it and be displeased and turn away his anger from him. Don't celebrate when your enemy falls, when he suffers, when they fail, when they get sick, when they divorce, when they go bankrupt, when their business uh, fails. Don't rejoice when the people that you consider enemies suffer. Now, I know some of you right now are saying, I don't have any enemies. I get along with everybody. They're not my enemies. I got some people I don't really like, but they're not my enemies. Can I, can I just tell you that enemies are the, the people that when I say, who's your enemy, that face pops into your mind and you want to deny it. Well, I don't hate them, but, but they really irritate you. They really annoy you. They get under your skin. I mean, maybe there's somebody who's actually hurt you physically, or maybe they've hurt you emotionally. Uh, maybe there's somebody that uh, was in authority over you and abused that authority, or maybe there's somebody that uh, you, know, you worked for or worked with and, and they hurt your career. Maybe they're an ex. You know, uh, a relationship didn't work out and they really hurt you uh, in that relationship. Maybe they're a child or a parent and, and there's a brokenness there. But uh, maybe they're a competitor in business or an ex-partner in business, or maybe they're just somebody that annoys you. It really doesn't matter, but we all have those people that if we get down honest with our souls, we kind of root for them to fail. Uh, what happens is when bad stuff occurs in their life, our evil instincts say, that's right, they got what they deserved. They got what they deserved. Yeah, they, they, I'm glad they got back what they, what they you know, earned. And, and so we kind of cheer on their destruction because we think that, well, they're evil, they, they deserve that. And, and I want to caution you because, you know, Proverbs cautions us. It says, don't cheer for them because God will show them mercy if you're celebrating too much uh, that, that they're ruined. And, and instead, I want to challenge you to take on Jesus' response. Okay, Jesus' response is radical, it's crazy, and it works. So here's what Jesus said. Matthew chapter 5, he said, you've heard it said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy but I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your Father in heaven. In other words, if you're going to be like Jesus, we have to learn to love our enemies. And that's crazy stuff. That means that instead of cheering on their destruction, you have to try to help them succeed. The Apostle Paul put it another way. He said, do not take your own revenge, but leave room for the wrath of God. For vengeance is mine, says the Lord, I will repay. See, justice is God's job. We want revenge, but, but God says, that's my job. Let me take care of it. I'll do it better than you. Which is why Proverbs says, don't cheer on the destruction of your enemies. Pray for them. Pray that, that mercy will happen to them. Pray for grace to abound in their life. Pray for God's love to shine in their life. Pray for them to experience the joy of Jesus because that will change their life and it will change your relationship with them. In fact, the Apostle Paul concluded that, that section in uh, Romans 12 when he said, don't take your own revenge, by quoting Proverbs chapter 25. And I'm going to steal one of Pastor Joe's verses for uh, tomorrow, but uh, he gave me permission to do it, so don't feel so bad. In verse 21 of chapter 25, it says, If your enemy is hungry, give him bread to eat. If he's thirsty, give him water to drink, for you will heap burning coals on his head, and the Lord will reward you. I'm not pretending that God's admonitions about how to deal with your enemies or adversaries or competitors or exes is easy. It's not but it is life-changing. If you'll embrace the Jesus way, if you actually will pray for the people who've hurt you and work for their benefit, give them food when they're hungry and something to drink when they're thirsty, it's amazing how God will show up in your life and you will experience his victory. Maybe not the victory you imagined where you're standing on their uh, you know, grave and, and dancing, 
but a better victory because it'll be a victory of redemption and love and mercy. And remember, God's the one who judges, not us. Let him do his job. He's better at it than you are anyway. God bless Calvary, and I hope you have a great day loving your enemy.